Hey guys, it's John DeYoung and today we're going to hit a quick abdominal workout. Uh, we're going to do four movements. We're going to start from the bottom up, from the lower abs to the uppers. Side planks for your obliques and your back stabilizer. Abs and back obviously go together. And then we're going to get up on the long plank with knee tucks hitting the deep TVA or transverse abdominus. So this should be about a 15 minute ab workout. Uh, we're going to need a little ball if you have one. If not, that's okay. And we are going to need a big exercise ball. So, all right guys, so let's hit it. We're going to start from the bottom up. We're going to take a little ball like this. If you don't have one, that's okay, but it does help to kind of relax your hip flexors by squeezing your adductors. We're going to pick our chin up, palms flat. <sighs> Exhale, rolling the way up. We're starting on tabletop <sighs> right from here. Draw the belly button in. Exhale <sighs> and roll that up. Trying to make the distance between your sternum and your belly button smaller. And a way to do that is to round your back, rolling up one vertebra at a time as you exhale up and roll down slowly. If you need to support your head, that's okay. Right from here. Just trying to relax your upper body. I like to pick my head up. I feel it's more of a struggle. I put my head on the floor, so feel free to use a little cushion if you have to. Right from here, okay. And five. It's mostly lower abs. Four. And three. Shoulder blades are resting right on the edge of the shoulder blade just before you're in a crunch. Two. And one. Whew. All right, guys. Perfect. So we're going to grab the ball now. So now we're going to get into a little more middle to upper abdominal area. All right. Now with the ball, so many ways people do the ball wrong. The big ball never should move, okay? We're gonna be resting on the ball. Support your lower back, almost like one of those beanbag chairs. You can support your head. We're gonna round up. Belly button in. That's good. Let's work on coming down to about the tips of your shoulder blades, exhaling the way up, really rounding. Again, we're not pushing with the quads. If you see the big ball moving, you're doing it wrong, okay? So we're crunching on the big ball. We're the only thing moving. This is locked. Feet are pushed in the floor. Sticky mat's really important. Push your feet against the wall. Ooh, feeling those already back to back. Nice, keep your knees locked. Let's round up. Oh, and give me five, four, and three, two. I'm a little fast. Don't forget your way down. Half of the abdominal exercise is down. That's great. Let's stretch over for one quick second. Four, three, Two, one, and let's come on up. Very nice. All right, guys, let's get rid of that ball. So we just did the lower abs, upper abs. Now we're gonna work obliques, side abs, and a little of your lateral or your back stabilizer called a quadratus lumborum. I kind of say that a lot, but it's a really important area to work. All right, nice straight line with your body. We're gonna push off your leg and your elbow. Coming up, chin neutral, keep your abs drawn in. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna do a set of five X, five reps, eight second hold. And belly button in, five, excuse me, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Three to go. If your elbow hurts, you can tuck it in a little further or a little further out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. We're gonna get two more. And up in five, eight, <laughs> seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Ready? One more. And up. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, very nice. So on this one, obviously you gotta do both sides. Again, if you have problems with the shoulder, you can adjust your elbow under you or further away. Nice straight line with your body. On the second side, I'll show you how you can make these more difficult. These definitely build. No reason to overload with improper form. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, and down. Inhale up, draw that belly button in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, nice straight line with your body. Up, holding my hand up here. It gives me a little shoulder blade engagement. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice, two to go. And up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and one more. And raise that up in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Very nice, guys. We're at five minutes right now. Just about finish exercise number four. This is a long plank. We're gonna hit deep abdominals, transverse abdominis. Um, it's gonna feel pretty rough <laughs> after those back to back. Okay, so we're gonna do a long plank. My hands are right under my shoulders. My feet are in a push-up position, a little wider though, almost shoulder width. Tuck the knee in as you keep your abs drawn in. <sighs> Exhale in. Try not to rock. And two. And two. That's good. And three. Keep your abs tucked in. Three. <sighs> and four. Four. Five. Five. Holding. Just gonna go five seconds and four, three, two. One down to a regular plank. And holding. Keep your tummy in, but a little tucked forward. Not too arched. Right through here. Very nice. All right, in five seconds, we're gonna go back up in five, four, three, two, one. Back up, long plank, and hold. We're gonna do three knee tucks, and tuck it, and one. One, two, two, one more each and hold, three, and three. Oh, very nice, guys. Six minutes, 43 seconds. Those are rough. You're gonna feel a little bit in the shoulder if you haven't done those in a while. Okay, guys, back to one. Start the second time through. Let's get into our reverse crunch. Keep that butt on the ground first. Squeeze the ball between your knees, engaging your adductors. Belly button in, exhale, one. One vertebrae at a time, two. Exhale, up, and three. I'm on the tip of my shoulder blades. If you want in this position, you could put something behind your head just for a little support. Even if it's just a hand, that doesn't really throw off your crunch too much, right there. Very nice. Good job. All right, let's hit five. One, two, three, two to go. Feel a little burn, four, and five. Woo, very nice. All right, back on the ball, we're gonna do a little upper crunch. This ball is uh, 60, let's see, 65 centimeters, I believe. Uh, 65 centimeters, 26 inches. I'm about just under 6'1". Uh, that's about the right size. Anything smaller than that, it gets too small, too big. It's like a bouncy house. <sighs> okay. All right, again, you should be comfortable in this position. <sighs> and two. Arms across your body if you want. Three. Rounding up, pulling the belly button in. Coming to a full crunch. And then open up on the way down. <sighs> you can hold the ball if you want. Hold your head. <sighs> I will tell you, putting both hands behind your head. Adds a little more resistance. <laughs> Exhale up. Those two exercises back to back, you feel the burn already. Not a lot of, you don't have to be so big, you don't have to do a lot of reps with abs. A lot of fast twitch muscle fibers like calves and hamstrings. I like heavier loads, overloading. You don't have to go into 100 reps of abs. That's a crock. Ooh, ah, give me three more. One. I want you to finish rounding up two. Good. And three. Whew. All right, guys, let's stretch over that ball. Whew. All right. All right, let's come on up. Good job. All right, let's get rid of the ball. Back to our side plank. Second set of side plank. Okay. Whew. Draw those abs in. And up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. And up in one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very nice. It's a hard. And five, four, three, two, one. Sorry, add three, two, one for eight. Very nice. Give me two more, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And one more. Belly button in, straight back, not rounded. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Whew. Very nice. All right, let's hit it with 10 minutes and 15 seconds. Let's get this other side. Give me five, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's one. And up. Number two, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, okay. and three, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two to go. Be strong. You're also getting a little back workout here, a lateral stabilizer of your back. So, six, five, four, three, two, one, and one more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice, guys. Woo All right. Ready? Long plank, knee tucks. Let's hit it, look at about eight each side first. Hands right under your shoulders. Nice, narrow push-up position. One. One. Two. Kind of your butt slightly. Two. A little rounding right when you tuck the knee to the elbow. Three. Three. Four, four, five, and five, six, six, seven, seven, one more each, eight, eight, all right, just give me about 10 seconds on the plank, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys. 12 minutes, 10 seconds. Back to number one, and we're done. All right, guys, this looks like it's gonna be 15 minutes. Almost done, last time through. All right, reverse crunch. Belly button in, palms, shoulder blades down. One. Well, you're on the tip of your shoulder blades. Down would be here. And three. Four. This kind of helps me round five, my spine, and six. If you can only come about here, that's fine. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's get about two, one, two. Very nice. Again, no reason to go crazy on the number of reps. You know, I train a lot of clients, and a lot of them start to fail around six, eight, 10 reps, doing very focused movements, so don't worry about getting a lot of reps. Especially if you feel it in your back, back off. Do like five reps, six reps, take a break, back and try it again. You could break all these movements up into a single movement. So you could just do the reverse crunch or the ball out, but make sure you're feeling it. Don't rush through it. Don't fake it. You don't need to get a lot of reps and bouncing around. All right, nice support. Right from here, belly button in. That's two. And three, uh, four, five. I'm feeling that already. I sure hope you are. Six. Cheat. If this is 12 o'clock, you're right around like two ish with your butt, 2 p.m. Oh, good job. Uh, Come on, guys. Uh, the idea is to fatigue your abs in as few reps as possible, either holding a dumbbell uh, or doing it right. Okay. Stretch over, guys. Very nice, two movements down, two to go. All right guys, last side to side planks. I'm gonna show you how to make these more difficult. All right, stack your legs, straight line, off the elbow. You can raise your arm or not. Let's go five second hold, four, three, two, one, and down. Up, five, four, three, this is a true plank. Two, one, and down, true side plank I should say. Up, holding, five, four, 
three, two, one. Good. One more. I'll flip it over. Five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Whew. All right. It's almost 15 minutes, guys. Hang in there. Not yet, though. And up. Straight line. Elbow right under your shoulder. Three, two, one. And down. And up. Five, four, three, two, one. Neutral spine is really important. Neutral neck, neutral spine. Up. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. And up. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys. Let's get right into it. Whoo. Long plank. Knee tucks. You ready? Finish strong. Coming up on 15 minutes. Ugh. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Three more. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. And eight. Ready? Down. All right, guys. Hang in there. Probably can feel it in your shoulders, too. Keep holding. That long plank with the knee tuck also, you can do that if you want to do a little shoulder rehab. It's great shoulder stabilization. Hang in there. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Oh, man. All right. So we got 16 minutes. I went over a little bit. I won't apologize for that. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope your abs are firing. Give me the thumbs up if you like what we did and subscribe if you haven't yet and check out my 30 day fitness challenge coming in 10 days, 30 videos, one a day, 12 to 15 minute workouts. Take the challenge. Thank you. See you soon.